it. Hello, welcome back to the Overtime Podcast. This is episode 30, and today we are talking about the best subscription snack food boxes. I've only tried one when I got one at the FYE that was the called Japan Crate. And if I had the 35 extra dollars a month, oh boy, I would definitely be doing that. Because their stuff comes with interesting, uh, like, ramen and different stuff. And I actually got to try some chocolate-filled, um... I forget what it's called. I'm going to have to look it up real quick. Uh, I think it was Japan Creek that I tried out too, but I don't completely remember. Okay. Yeah. This is a continuation of our previous episode when we were slightly touching upon it, but we had already hit our uh, and we hour felt that long. It, and we thought it would make a better uh, episode. Ah, uh, crap. I'm trying to find the name of it, but there was this one Japanese snack. That's shaped like a fish. Wait, I know what you're talking about, actually. I, I am like 99% sure I ate something like that. Ah, but it was like, uh, it's like not a cracker. Puku but like... Puku Thai chocolate wafer. It's Taiyaki. Taiyaki. Taiyaki is okay. what it's called. And it's either filled with chocolate or, or, or in Japan, you always get them filled sweet bean. And actually in Japan, you can go to these street vendors and get them freshly cooked. Like, they come yeah. from the battle and they'll cook them fresh. Like, the street vendors there, like, if you get food from a uh, vending machine in the U.S., quite frankly, that's, like, when you're broke but hungry. But when you get shit from the street vendors in Japan and China, they actually have cool shit to eat. Yeah. And this one is, it's 88 calories. I found it on NapaJapan.com. Buck 50 per pack. And it's the same one that came in a Japan pa Japan crate that I tried. And it's a chocolate wafer taiyaki. And what's really nice about this one, you know, it's kind of like um, those sugar wafers almost in texture, but not as sweet. You know, yeah. like it breaks apart. And the chocolate inside has lots of air bubbles in it, so it's like, it's a fluffy chocolate. So, the thing is, I actually like Japanese candy because if you notice, even some Chinese candy, but mostly I've tried Japanese, so I haven't really tried Chinese candy, you know? Right. But Japanese candy is good because people like me who do not have much of a sweet tooth, I don't like my things super duper sweet except my coffee which i put an entire cup of sugar in <laughs> yeah i like a little coffee with my sugar but beyond that i'm not much one for sweets and stuff i i like stuff like you know cotton candy but it's not my favorite because there's just too much sugar in it like you know i can eat a little bit of it but it's but i can't stand pixie pixie sticks which are just pure sugar yeah, stick. I don't like this that much either. Well, stuff like Japanese candy. I don't like them that much either, no. And stuff. But then, you have something like... They have other stuff on this site, and I'm just going to read some stuff because I just looked this up. They have Ambasa Sour White Milk Soda. And you're on the Japan Crate site? No, I'm on a thing called NapaJapan.com. Okay. It looks like Japanese candy snacks and more since 2003. It looks like it's an international snack site. Okay. Uh, they have... Uh, though soda candy does taste really good. I've had soda candy before. Yeah, I had it in the Japan quick crate, and it kind of tasted like eating Coca-Cola. I had grape uh, candy, and I wasn't really that big of a fan of it. Like, it was supposed to taste like actual grapes, and it didn't. Yeah, but then they have some weird stuff. Like, they have wasabi-flavored Kit Kats. I would... Mm, actually, no, I wouldn't try that. Um, they have matcha Kit Kats that sound really good. I would eat that. Granted, apparently... Oh, I can even buy canned coffee on this site. 
Because in Japan, apparently buying pi, buying coffee in a can out of a vending machine is quite common. I haven't tried canned coffee before. And now I and I'm seeing these squeezable eat them jellies. So apparently, yeah, that's a popular thing. So apparently, there's something in the there is something to the idea in anime of all these people instead of eating, they're like slurping this jelly or something out of this squeeze. Jelly pouch. fruit. That's like super big on TikTok to like eat um to make like. Say you have, like, a sandwich bag, and you put, like, whatever liquid or whatever, mm -hmm. um, you, like, solidify it, and then people will, like, squirt it into their mouth or okay. something. Okay, yeah, well, okay, here's one. Japanese candy, or Japanese snack. Salty shrimp Cheetos. Ew. There's wasabi cheese Cheetos. Cherry brandy chocolate contains alcohol. Oh yeah, they, I'd eat that. They actually have chocolate in Japan that contains alcohol, and if you eat enough of it, you will get drunk, just like drinking alcohol. I mean, that's not that weird of a thing. Like, they have some dessert places in New York that like have alcohol in it, though. Yeah, I mean, it's not, uh, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, they do have a lot of good stuff, but some of the stuff they make in other countries is just weird to us. But yeah. then again, I'm sure some of the stuff we eat is weird to them. I mean, like, everyone, like, people think that pineapple on pizza is weird. And I'm like, it's not that weird. Like, they don't put it on the menu because no one eats it, obviously. I don't think it's weird, but it's not to my taste. I think it's for the people that like salty and sweet, like, citrusy things. Because I'll eat it with, mm -hmm. with um, like, ham. Oh, yeah. And it tastes pretty good. And personally, I like the combination, but it's really a taste preference. Uh -huh. And like I said, like it wouldn't be on the freaking menu if no one liked it. Pocky's also good. Pocky's delicious. And those, um, Granted, the thing that's sim I enjoy... similar to Pocky, the teddy bears and shit mm -hmm. on it. Granted, one brand on here calls them Topo. I would still consider it Pocky. But there is another type of the of the biscuit sticks that instead of being covered in the chocolate, they have it inside. It's like a tube. You know what oh, I'm talking about? That. They're called no. They have them at Kroger here, and they call it's uh the brand is P Joy or Pe Joy. It's P E Joy. Where they have like the koala bears and shit on it? No, um. Pet Joy is, and it's a uh, chocolate filled biscuit sticks, and the thing is, Pocky is a brand, and actually, oh no, it's a different thing. Pocky and Pet Joy have owned by the same company. It looks like I see the same logo in the corner. So it's like Pocky, but instead of them being dipped in the chocolate or whatever that whatever the flavor is that goes with the biscuit stick. You've seen those, like, cereal sticks or cereal... You remember cereal straws, right? Yeah. Where they have, like, chocolate or milk... Chocolate milk type stuff in the middle that was holding it together. Well, yeah. think of that, but really thin. And there's no hole through what's ever in the middle. Okay. So it's like a Pocky stick, but reversed. And they actually taste a little bit better. <coughs> but you okay? Yeah, no, my... I ended up with uh, the weather and shit, and I breathed wrong, and it tickled a spot in my throat. To all yeah, our listeners, to all our listeners, whether or not there's a pandemic going around or anything else, I always have a cough. And I don't yes, he doesn't have corona that he knows of. <laughs> the cough is uh the cough has been ongoing pretty much on and off since I was sixteen. Like just because you see your neighbor sneeze, please don't try to lysol them to death. Actually please do and photograph it for my amusement. <laughs> oh my gosh. I You're the horrible. devil, you know that? I tried to say that, but my co-worker took that claim for himself. He says he's worse than I am. And I actually believe him a little bit. 
we compete to see who can be more evil. But back to the topic at hand before we go down a rabbit hole that makes this depressing. Uh, I actually would love it if I had the $35 every month to pay for Japan Crate. I would too. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that, like, for my channel, um, I do reviews, but, um, I just really, at the moment, don't have the extra funds to be buying Yeah, it. Um, since, we, since neither of us really have a big viewer base, we don't have Patreon or something like that to give us funds to help us create more content. So what we have to create the content is all out of our own pockets. Yeah. We do like with me, at a cost to I ourselves. don't have... Like our podcast, for one, does not um, have a lot of views. And my personal channel, I am not at like that 1,000... Mark uh, 4,000 hours, which, by the way, like, YouTube in itself has, like, really screwed over small creators from making any money. Yeah, granted, I would suggest you set up a Patreon. Right. Because you never, even when you do have monetization, the ad rates right now are crap. Yeah, You'll make I feel on like Patreon. during um, this crisis, it would be almost worse rather than better for ad rates. Oh, yeah, because think about it. They're trying to sell stuff, but nobody has any money, including these companies. Are they really going to spend a bunch of extra money on advertising? Yep. I think it's only, like, the big, big, big companies that you know have a shit ton of money. Like, I still see a bunch of people doing advertising for, like, uh, you know, Fashion Nova, Bang Energy, shit like that. But they, like, they're basically mm -hmm. swimming in money. Yeah, but here's the thing. If I had the extra money right now, let's say $35 a month to get Japan Crate, shoot, I could say, let's look at this month's Japan Crate every time it comes every month. Yeah. Like, and that would be a monthly monthly series for me. Right, but, and that would be an interesting series because people like to watch... Videos like that um, get a lot of views. Like... As a subscription box opener and reviewer, I've noticed that my highest viewed videos are all boxes that people are aware of the company, but they themselves are too poor to buy. So they are living through me to show them, hey, this is what I got. Yes, like before I had any money to buy anything and I didn't have an Xbox and I really wanted to play Halo and know what Halo was about. So I vicariously played it by going to the library because I didn't have internet at home and watching Let's Plays of Halo. Yeah. I can't play it, but I can watch someone else play it. It's not even close to as good, but it's something. Right. Or, like, people will watch Let's Plays, like, before a game comes out so they know, like, what to look for. Oh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll watch... What I do, really, is I watch a let, I'll watch Let's Plays before I buy a game to see if I'd like to play it. Yeah. Okay, we're starting to get off topic. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but that's not new. You guys know what we're like. So, yeah, I'm going to go over... A quick list of um, different boxes. The first one I'll go into more detail because um, so this subscription company is called it's a bodega and they actually allow you to buy items like by itself too instead of just a box. But the box is like various items from different countries. Well, um, in China they have interesting foods like Lay's potato chips. In lactobacillus soda, which is actually a milk-based soda, uh, mm -hmm. cherry blossom lychee, which is like I guess you could say a candy or something, white grape soda. They have a Seven Up mojito, okay. Cheetos corn stick, hot and spicy. That's actually not that weird. Um, Japanese steak Cheetos. Um, Lay's Spicy Crawfish, Lay's Yam and Tomato, Cheetos in American Turkey, uh, Cheetos... Turkey Yugo Cheetos? Yeah. Um, Cheetos in Bugless 
Seafood. It's B-U-G-L-E-S. I don't know how to pronounce this. And then I have one in Spicy Chicken for Cheetos. Lay's Grilled Squid. Lay's Cucumber. Cheetos. Um... Green onion, which is really not that strange, I guess. But um, Pringles, Stacks, Avocado, and Sweet Mustard. Pringles, Coconut, Purple, Yam. Uh, Pringles, Stack, Cucumber. And, yeah, so that was for China. And now I guess you can go over to Japan, too. No, no, I'll go over Canada because most of the other subscription boxes we'll be talking about is probably going to be Japan yeah. and China based. Um, but for Canada, they have a Canada Dry Blackberry Ginger Ale, a Canada Dry Vanilla Ice Cream Soda, which actually I feel like tastes, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, they have something called Macintosh's Mac Toffee, which is probably like. Canada's own, like, candy brand, I would say, because mm -hmm. I've never heard of that. And then they have um, a soda company called Fruitopia. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, Crushes is, like, it's, like, popular in the U.S., but it's probably popular in Canada as well. So, yeah, It's a Bodega has um, a box where you can get international foods, but it's, like, from multiple different countries if you get their subscription box. And then the next box that I have to tell you guys is called um, Abu Abulia Mami, which is a Cuban culture box, and it's sourced around Miami and Florida snacks. Mm -hmm. Well, here's, here's one other thing I found. Okay, I found two boxes. We've already talked about Japan Crate. But I have seen another one here that uh, is called Tokyo Treat. Oh, yeah, that's a popular one. It's about the same price every month. Granted, oh, yeah, you'll save $3.50 by paying it per month by paying all 12 months at once. Well, gee, what a savings. It's like, I, I feel like saying, like, uh, like quoting Galaxy Quest by Grabthaw's Hammer, what a savings. <laughs> like, I don't know what it was about Japan Crate, but the flavors seemed better to me than American candy. It's because it's more subtle. Yeah, I feel like we do like too sweet. We cover like... everything as much sugar, seasoning, spices, syrups, and everything else. Okay, guys. You know, rice actually has a flavor, but it's a subtle flavor. We cover it up with everything. Yeah, like Americans rice can never enjoy anything on rice. its own. Americans can never enjoy eating anything on its own. We have to mix it with something. Right. We we ruin everything we bring here because here's the thing: stuff made in America, American. You know, American invented food is still good, but when it's an adapted food, oh my, the original tastes so much better. Like, Wait, I have a question for you. Yeah. So, are you able to like? Um, I wonder if so. It's a bodega actually said that they sent me a box for review purposes. Um, I was wondering, I know, like, you wouldn't be trying anything, so you wouldn't really be able to react, but if you could screen record um, us FaceTiming, we could upload that as a video, maybe. Oh, yeah, that could be a thing, yeah. Uh, yeah, they, uh, you, you gotta, you know, get a, you can get a hold of these guys. Sometimes you can get, you know, the first, you know, the first box, like, to, you know, this sort of thing. But Japan Crate has other stuff like Doki Doki Crate, which is just is plushies. Like oh, plushies. Uh, our annoying friend that we know is trying to call me. Ah. And they have something called Umai Crate, which is seasonings and ramen. That's like thirty dollars a month on Japan Crate. Oh, 
Oh, that's not too bad. I like the Japan crate when I got my box. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked that it had um, a drink inside. The drink that had the marbles, those are my favorite drinks. Oh, I saw another one they've got on here, too. They have another one now. It's called uh, Inku, Inku Crate. It's uh, Exploit Crate Empty Through Japanese Stationery. It looks like it's an art, it's a Japanese art book and stuff crate with those little stickers and pencils and drawing books. Oh, that's and cool. Write out for $25 they have, a month. A, they have a Japan related crate that's kind of similar to that. Yeah. Where um they have like stationary decorations and oh, shit yeah, like they that. Have that sort of stuff in there too. But if I go back over to Tokyo Treat, one thing they're putting in some of them that they have right now that they have in there, it's uh in May's box, in the premium box, a frosty Japan exclusive, a freezable squeeze thing that is supposed to be frozen Coca Cola with lemon. Hmm. Mm. That sounds kind of strange. It does. And then they have Sakura Japanese Sake Kit Kat. I need that. You know what sake is, right? Um, is that like a spice that you put in? Sake is Japanese alcohol. Oh, I thought you were talking about soy sauce at first. No, sake. I th- right. I think it's okay. I I believe sake is based on rice, vodka is potatoes, and whis and and um. Give me a sec. Moonshine whiskey is corn. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. So it's it's their it's their distilled spirits. Right. Yeah. Remember, everyone. Grains or roots, anything with high amount of carbohydrates in it, will be used to make a distilled alcohol no matter where you live. Mm-hmm. Although, I would love to actually try Japanese sake one day. If Me I could too. find a place that sells it. But it's so hard to buy here in the U.S. I can't find anywhere. Even the... I don't even think the Oriental shop carries it. And actually, I don't think they're open right now. Probably not. The um, Abuela Mami, the Cuban culture crate... That has 8 to 10 items, and it's $20 a month, which is not that bad. Then you have pastries, which is a macaroon box that sends 12 meticulously crafted macaroons in flavors that are made from genuine French pastry chefs in the United States, and that's $16 a month. Hmm. They They have... Remember... The uh, French did invent the souffle. Yeah. Um, They have seal box, which is from the American Deep South. Um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's S-E-O-U-L. But I think it's from, it's um, a place in Korea. S-E-O-U-L? Soul? Yeah. Soul, yeah. Um, that's twenty one twenty five a month and it ships from the UK. Yeah. She's not Korea, so that, that's weird. S E O U L is uh it's a weird way it's spelled, but that's how you spell Seoul as in the capital of South Korea. Do is Korea and, like, the UK, like, doing weird shit with each other that it would ship from the UK? They may have a warehouse in the UK where they keep some of the stuff. Okay, gotcha. Or they may and... ran from the UK and get stuff from Korea. Remember, we do live in a global economy. Yeah. One of the things that I've been seeing Facebook ads for literally all the time has been Mexicrate, which is only $6 a month. And they have, like, four different subscription tiers. It's Mexican candy and treats. Basically, with Mexican candy, from what I've been seeing them do, is it's a bunch of spicy shit and, like, lemon, and they put it on candy. I don't care for Mexican candy. It's too spicy for me. 
Yeah, like they only eat like sour shit, and I mean, I'm not saying that's bad stuff. I'm just oh, saying, no, like, it's just everyone has their know. own tastes, and it's too much for me. But right. you know, the fact that it is only six dollars a month does open up so many uh, peso jokes. That's not bad. And then they have uh, Crate British, which is a lot of, like, Cadbury cream, which is actually one of my favorite um, chocolate brands. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, ten snack items. And they have, like, fruity wine gums, which I don't even know what that is, but it's probably a British thing. And that's $21 a month. Yeah. Uh, Well, if I... Yeah, uh, I was going to say, you, you're you looking at a list, but I was going to say this. The Japan crate that I was looking, the two crates I've been looking at here, just like reading what you're talking here. Um, the Japan crates, $35 a month, 18 to 20 full-size candies and snacks, Japan exclusive drink, monthly bonus item from bag. When I got that one from the store, it had like a pill, you know, like it looks like a pill, but you unscrew it and it's a pen. Oh, yeah, yeah. From a bag of Japanese Kit Kats to collect those, and a magazine featuring translations, fun facts, and more. So essentially, a magazine with manga in it translated. Where for thirty five, also thirty five dollars a month, Tokyo Treat, you get exclusive streaks membership on the. I don't know what that means, on the premium box. 17 full-size items, including one Japanese drink, 18 to 500 milliliters. They don't do ounces. America is the only one that does ounces anymore on the planet. Everyone else is not imperial. Everyone else is metric. One party snack, one anime snack, five popular Japanese snacks, three dagashi, one DIY Japanese candy kit, and one Japanese candy guidebook for $35 a month. That's not too bad. Well, but if you pay for the twenty two fifty a month, you lose five snacks. You don't get the drink, don't get the party snack, don't get the anime snack. And you get one less of the Degashi and one less of the popular Japanese snacks. You still get the candy kit and the candy guy book, though. That's really not bad. But I have to wonder that if that one snack, if those few items they pulled out is actually worth the extra $10 $13. Let me know what everyone. These are nice and fun to have and fun to do, but you are overpaying for it. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you're paying more for, like, the experience of it than You're anything. paying for like, the novelty. Yeah, like, people like opening shit. Like, they like feeling like it's Christmas. That's the, the whole thing about subscription boxes. Here's the thing. If I had the money to blow on them, I'd probably do a few subscription boxes. There's uh, um, there is something, I believe it's called... Uh, maybe... Oh, the otaku box? It's funny. It says it's the only one with etchy option, but it's a fan box. Okay? And it's... um. Twenty four ninety five a month, and they send you t shirts, uh, wall scrolls, figurines, cups, all sorts of cool stuff. If I had the money, I would so do that because seriously, I could every month just pay twenty five dollars every month, and I'd have myself all my, you know. All my cool anime stuff. I mean, they said phone covers, plushies. Like right Oh, there. yeah. That's nice. Like, here, I say I want my box. Um, okay, there's a scale figure. So, it adds... Um, blah, 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 blah. So, if... Okay, so... To get my first box... With some extra stuff in it. It would be fifty one ninety three, But that's because of, ex- of you know, cost bills. And customs? No, that's uh, because uh, that's paying for the extra figurine and the t-shirt. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So that adds another twenty six ninety eight. But still, 50 bucks 
for all that stuff, it's not necessarily a bad price when it's all collectible the, stuff. The food subscription box that I'm subscribed to, which is Love With Food, if you guys are, like, really on a budget but want, like, the novelty of, like, trying new snacks and shit, they actually do, like, pretty healthy snacks for the most part. I don't get, like, the most expensive one, which is their tasting box. I get the cheapest one, which um, they actually tried to get me to renew for another uh, three months, which I did. I paid um, only $22 for a total of three months, which, like, broken down is, like, seven to eight bucks box, which is really not that bad. Yeah. Now, granted, I'll tell you guys this, though. If I was... If it wasn't for the uncertainty of my work right now, and if I was still working every day and wasn't getting all these work reductions and potentially getting laid off and whatnot, I'd probably buy some of these boxes right now with some of that nice government stimulus money I got. You know. I mean, I feel like maybe in your case months. not like getting a subscription box, but like if you bought like one box, I feel like it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, you can buy the one box without the subscription. I do believe. I think what would actually be cool is, um, now if you feel like doing it or not, is if I bought my bodega box and then you reacted to it and we made a video about it and then you bought a box and then I reacted to it mm -hmm. um, while you show the products, I think that would be like a cool like two-part thing. I'd have to do. get a new uh, webcam. But is it like not that good? Remember I boned it up? When we first started trying to do this, it burned itself up, and now it doesn't work. Well, you're calling me from your phone, aren't you? No, I'm calling you from my computer. We can't stream from my phone. Well, no, I mean, like, you do FaceTime on the phone, screen record, and then upload it. I don't know how to screen record on my phone. Guys, I'm sorry you do not know technology on phones. Um, I guess we could do it on my phone, and then... Eh, no, nah, I can figure it out at some point. I mean, your way, I can just record it in my face, just as up there and whatnot. You know, one-way video. But, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out, guys, at some point. We'll figure it out. Yeah, but, like, the, you could get, like, a one-time box, and then Cause that really, way... Because, really, for a one-time box, all I would need to do is purchase it, pay it and then cancel it <laughs> well no what what i've done actually in that case is purchase it buy it as a gift and then it doesn't charge you you're essentially giving the gift to yourself like when you put like who's it for like that's yeah. how i do it for myself well here's one thing my uh thing if i would say in japan crate gift plan you have to start with like three months for a gift. You can't just send them one. You're doing Japan Crate? If I were doing it, yeah. Japan Crate oh. or Tokyo Treat. Something like that. I would do... Uh... Well, yeah, you could do the bi-monthly and then cancel is probably what you do. I would love to do, like, the Otaku Box. That's one thing I would love to do, but... Um... Is that like it? Is that, like, candy-related? No, that's not candy related. That's my. That's one of those. Uh, it's one of those knickknack uh, collectibles subscription boxes. Because the lowest one that I'm seeing on Crate Joy for Japan Crate is twenty five dollars, which is really not that bad. Yeah, that one is uh, the uh, the twenty five dollar one. Is that drawing crate? It's not the snack crate. Oh, gotcha. They've got multiple crates. Right. If I were you, I'd get the one that at least has, like, a drink in it. Would be good. If I did, I'd do the premium Japan crate, which costs 35 bucks. Okay. But if I'm... But the thing is, we're going to have to wait on my crate, because i got to figure out what's going on with my situation at the moment, because I can't really just go blow 35 bucks. Right. See, this is, like, we're saying this as ideas. It's definitely going to be a series, like a mini-series that's in the works and is actually going to be aired, but when it happens... It'll be aired, happens, but when it happens, is it's up hard to in say. the air. Like because, we, like, like, for me, seen... 
um, my box, like, shipping issues is not that great overseas at the moment. And the Japan crate, there's, like, a five-day waiting, like, there's extra, there's extra shipping cost right now due to the virus. And yeah. they said potential delays in shipping. Well, we can always do it, like, we'll do my box first, and then we'll, like, do a part two as your box. Yeah, like, like guys, we're just kind of shooting the ideas here as we come up with ideas for new videos, because yeah. videos like these crate unboxings are videos that we could mirror on each other's channels. Right. As uh, cooperative videos, because I'm a political ranter and a Let's Play gamer. Laura is an unboxer and a mukbanger. Or mukbanger, yes. or whatever you want to call it. I don't really do product reviews. So we have two totally, we have two very different viewer bases. Right. And this podcast is kind of sort of uh, in the middle sort of thing. Yeah, we try to keep the topics like pretty similar to like what we both want to talk about. So it's... So, if you guys understand, like, with everything going on with the virus, which hopefully since this is three weeks, three, four weeks out that we're recording this episode, most of this will have blown over by then. Ho when this episode comes to air. Uh, because of that, our previous episodes have been getting a little dark and stuff. Just because it's a time like that right now. But... We mostly started this as a, we have interesting conversations, let's put it out for, there for the world to listen to. Right. That was the idea. And yeah, we're kind of gotten off, but there's only so much you can say in an hour about bo these boxes without actually buying them. Yeah, we can't, like, when we do our actual, like, box, we'll be definitely more in-depth, because not only will you have me in the video like tasting it but you'll we'll be having Tony reacting to it so it'll yeah. be a little bit longer of a so thing. so yeah but it's also a like right now if everything wasn't shut down if I want to do this thing and review a Japan crate all I'd have to do is waltz down to my local FYE which is I believe closed right now Buy it one of their Japan, one of their exclusive Japan crates, because FYE actually has a deal with J with Japan crate, so they can sell those crates in the store. But those are exclusive ones that are sold only at FYE every month. But because that's not a thing, right? I would have to buy it, pay the extra shipping, and everything else. Right, and by that point, you don't know if like the shipping costs almost outweigh the box itself. Or at that point you don't know if we'll even get here. In a timely manner, yes. It's hard to say on that. The nice thing is these snack boxes have non-perishable snacks. So if it yes, takes that a is a good thing. There, it, will, it won't be bad when it gets to you. Remember, guys, candies and snacks last a long time in the packaging. Yeah, like the ramen that I've had, we've had it for like months and we're just like now starting to get into it. Because well, with as my long work as it's schedule, not fried I'm not ramen, really able to. It won't go yeah. rancid. Um, like that, not the top ramen, but like the ramen that, people, that Asians actually don't even consider real ramen. Oh, ramen noodles. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, that stuff, watch out. Those flavor packs and stuff do go bad. But I've eaten six, seven-month-old ramen noodles and been fine. They weren't that old. I think it was like maybe two months that we had them. No, but like, I'll go through... I get... It cost me like two ninety eight to buy this huge-ass pack of ramen noodles at the store. That's not bad. So it's like I bit the huge pack, but I don't always eat it right then and there. Right. It'll last me a uh, couple of months. <laughs> yeah. It has a... It doesn't have... They do go bad, because they have been deep fried before being dried, because they are a fried noodle. So they can't mm -hmm. go rancid. But... And the flavor packs can go bad. But... Thing is, about dry things. Dry things don't tend to go bad. Things have no. to have some sort of moisture to go bad. 
But like I was saying, if the FY was open, I could waltz down by it and we could do the angle by another webcam to do the recording and do this right here, right now. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, with everything going on, a lot of our plans are going to have to be put on hold. Mm -hmm. Granted, I'm a lazy person because I should be sitting here and I should be recording Let's Plays and I've only recorded one video in the last month for Let's Plays. Well, I mean, to be fair, we've been recording a lot of these and it's an hour long. And I've it's just been tired. Like... I don't know if any of you have felt this way lately, but I've just been feeling off. I feel like it's weird because, like, this quarantine has made it so that a lot of people are working less, but they still feel just as tired for some reason. I feel more tired. Like, my concentration is non-existent right now. I feel like I'm not getting more sleep from this virus. I feel like I'm getting less sleep. Even though we're getting more. Well, no, I actually think I got less sleep last night. I went to bed at, like, 12 or 1 and woke up at 7. Yeah, I didn't get out of bed till like, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Today. Did you have today off? Yeah. Otherwise, they'd be at work right now. Oh, right. But, um, like, I've got my three my three books for learning Japanese. Right now, I should be sitting here studying Japanese. If I want to learn it. Perfect so they only have you working three days, right? This week, last week, and the previous week. Dang, what you doing in your free time? What am I doing in my free time? Playing games or sitting and watching YouTube? Sounds like something you do. Yeah, I procrastinate a lot, guys. Did we get a subscriber at all? Huh? Did we gain a subscriber? We have not gained any subscribers in the last month. Mm -hmm. We got one view and one like on the last step on the latest episode to on episode 26, I believe. Yeah, episode 26 that premiered. Well, it says premiered three days ago. It came out on Sunday, the 19th. Did you know, maybe I've been living under a rock, but like for a little bit on YouTube, they have a thing where you can like show people that, like, you premiered the video, but it won't play until a certain time, but people can still, like, comment it and shit? Yeah, I have them set as premieres. That's how I have it going out, so it sends out a notification that it's gonna be up, it's gonna be going out. Oh! Okay. Yeah. And, like, when I say we're gonna go live and I go in to start a live stream, Comments can already come in while they're waiting for this to go live. Gotcha. I wasn't sure if you, like, scheduled it, because that's different than... Scheduling and premiering is the same thing. You just hit set as premiere, then it just tells everyone this is coming out. It's a way to get everyone notified. Yeah, that's better than, uh... Oh, and you changed the image a little bit, too. Oh, you noticed? I just looked at it now. Yeah, that's my character. Oh, am I Spongebob then? Uh, I don't have a character for you. Make me one. I don't know what to make for you. The character's more for my ranting videos. Like the one I sent you that you still haven't watched. Oh, right. Okay. You will watch well, it. Well, it's, it's at 45 minutes, so we might as well wrap it up. Yep. Uh, we will see you guys next week once again. And... Well, I guess that's it. Bye. See you.